Oh, oh my god. Baby. <laughs> But yeah, overall, that's the machine actually. One of you guys watching right now is going to win the machine. Wow, baby, what's that? Hey, I, I told you they can't see it yet. Why not? They gotta wait. For what? The, the, the video. <laughs> Yo, what's good everyone? Welcome back to another video. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day today. Today's video is going to be very, very fun because we're going to be doing something I've never done before. You ready? Today, we're going to be turning a vending machine into a safe. Like an actual safe. You guys did get a quick little preview of the machine inside already just because we actually already finished it. Anyways, we are going to have two parts of this video. Part one is going to be us going into the machine, taking everything out, clean the machine, paint the machine, and basically get it ready for part two. Which, of course, in part two, we're going to put the shelves inside. We're going to add, you know, LED lights, make it really, really cool. Are you excited? Yeah, but what are we going to do with it after we're done? So after we're done with the machine, quick little secret, okay? Baby, if you tell them, it's not going to be a secret. Okay, no, I, I got to tell you guys. After we're done with the machine and we turn it into a safe, one of you guys watching right now is going to win the machine. What? Yeah, one of them right now is going to win a brand new, not brand new, <laughs> a vending machine safe. That's pretty cool. So that's what, like their Christmas gift? Yeah, quick little Christmas gift. But I'm not going to give the giveaway details until part two. So real quick, if you're not subscribed, subscribe right now. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If y'all do, drop a like. And let's go back in time and start <laughs> fixing the machine. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're finally here at the machine. Like I said, we're gonna be turning this machine into a safe. Do you think it's gonna be easy? No. It's not? It might take a while just because there's a lot of things we gotta do. We gotta take out the whole shelf, we gotta take off the whole compressor, everything in the bottom. We gotta paint the machine, fix the door. Cause if you guys saw the video where we actually came and brought the machine, as soon as I opened the door, the door fell. Like it literally- <laughs> It just ripped apart. Yeah, it literally just broke as I opened it, which I, I have no idea how. Uh, oh wow, what happened to what? the door? Did you see that? It like, oh, oh it broke. My vending machine broke. Anyways, before we actually paint the machine and take everything out, I wanna show you guys exactly what we gotta do. So again, like I said, we gotta take off the main shelf, which this is basically where the drinks go inside. Yeah, so look, the drinks go inside. That's where you put them in. The question is, how do you even take this thing off? I really have no idea. There's no screws, there's nothing. Oh, no. You think it just comes off? <laughs> so that's the first thing I wanna do. After we do that, um, we do have to take out all this mess down there. What, that's what, the compressor? It looks like it. <laughs> Look, guys, I'm not a pro, okay? I, I know I got vending machines, but I'm not a pro. And after we take everything out, we are gonna paint the machine. I'm not sure what color we're gonna paint it yet. But yeah, anyways, we got a ton of work to do. Let's get busy. Um, what should we do first? Take, I mean, I guess the first thing I can do is take out the shims. Okay, so this right here is called a shim. Uh, it basically changes the size of the drink. So the deeper it is, the bigger the drink it is, you know, does that make sense? Yes. Like a can or a bottle, this is what changes the size. Number two, three, seven, and eight. So there we go, I have all the shims out of the machine. Oh, here we go, yeah, hey, there we go. <laughs> Look how nasty this thing is. Look Ooh. at that, it's nasty. That wheel basically spins, it's, you know, it's a mortar, it spins and it brings out the drink out of, out of the machine. Oh, this is gonna be hard. There's so many cables. Ooh, just gonna yank them out? Yeah, I should. I mean, the machine <laughs> is broken already. I might as well just rip everything out. Oh, that hurt. Be careful, baby. 
So look, there we go. We got the first motor out. That's, you know, this is what it looks like. Again, this is what pushes the drinks out of the machine. 20 minutes later. Okay, look, we just had the biggest waste of time ever because check this out. So we've been taking out every single motor for the last, like, what, 30 minutes? Yeah. Okay, so look, basically what happened, as she was taking out every single motor one by one, I was taking out two screws that were behind the machine that basically, I guess, holds this big metal shelf. And there was only two, two screws. I took out both, I pulled it out a little bit, and look. Are you serious? This whole thing <laughs> comes off by two screws. So I wasted my time? Yeah, I guess we didn't have to take out every single motor. Ah, oh, we wasted so much time. Let me take out these real quick. By the way guys, if you haven't already, drop a like on this video, okay? Like the video real quick, it takes two seconds. Okay, so we got this piece off. This is, you know, of course, where the drinks slide down and comes out of the machine. All right, so down here in the bottom of the machine is basically where the compressor's at and everything that cools the machine, which I'm pretty sure it doesn't work anymore, right? It, it looks all rusty. Yeah, look at that thing. It's all rusty and ugly. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing almost just fell on me. <laughs> I'm sorry, like this might hurt some of you guys. I'm just gonna rip it out, okay? Do it's, it, baby. it's taking way too much time. <laughs> oh, that breaks my heart. It <laughs> breaks my heart. Okay, now you gotta be very careful, okay? Because the thing is pretty heavy, and I mean, do we just take it off or? Oh, oh okay. Yeah, so be careful, okay? <laughs> Oh my god. Here, actually, just bring it down. Here, just let go of it. Oh my god. The door. Okay, so, um, I mean, you guys can see we kind of got it out. It's, it's, look, it's a lot heavier than it looks, okay? So, we're not just weak. <laughs> but hey, at least we got it off, right? So, Finally, yeah. Yeah, so we got it out. I'm pretty sure that's where the weight is in a machine because that thing is so heavy. But anyways, now that we got it off, you know, let's put it out to the side and then we can continue. We just have to take those things off back there and I mean, it should be almost done. But first, we gotta take this off, okay? I have no idea how we're gonna do this, but let's try, let's go. I can fit inside now. <laughs> I can make this like my cave, like my secret room. There's not much to it. I can fit in here, like just close the door. I'm good. Ooh. Nobody's gonna find me. Let me see if I can just take this off now. Oh, it's so nasty. You. Really? You couldn't just put it down? Sorry. <laughs> Guess what? What? The door's fixed. Really? Yeah. Finally? It, it was actually pretty easy. It's just like four screws on top. Look, let me show you guys real quick. Okay, but look, now we have another problem, of course. So now that we have everything out of the machine, you know, it's empty inside, the door alone is making the machine lean over. Look, let me get to the side. Well, actually, you guys can't tell just because I put that metal plate under to like lean up the door. Oh, that's pretty smart. Yeah. <laughs> But look, if I move the door this way, watch what happens. So look, I'm gonna let go of the door and watch. Of course, it, does, it doesn't happen <laughs> right when I do it. See? Look at that, look at that. Oh, sh It's because all the weight is on the door now. So I was thinking of just getting like a 50 pound weight from like Walmart and just tape it to the other side and that should balance the machine. All right, so we're finally ready for the final step. You guys can see we have pretty much the whole machine, you know, covered up with tape. It's not the best job, but 
you know, it's gonna get the job done. I did pretty good. Yeah, I mean, the buttons are perfect. Look at this. Quick shout out to my girlfriend. She did a really good job on the buttons. Except uh, the first one. Anyways, you guys didn't know this, but we are gonna be painting the machine sun yellow. <laughs> Yellow on blue, that's gonna look good. It's gonna pop, it's gonna be bright, it's gonna look amazing. <laughs> but yeah, let's go paint that machine. We're finally done with part one of the vending machine transformation. You guys can see the machine is yellow with a little bit of blue accent on the bottom. Do the colors match? Oh, maybe not. <laughs> yellow on blue, it kind of doesn't go together, but you know, it still looks nice. It's dope. It's totally different from the rest of them. Yeah, it. and it's unique. Anyways, let's take a closer look at the machine. You know what? My favorite part so far is the buttons. Because they stand out. Yeah, they stand out and it just looks so clean. We got a tiny bit of paint on the sticker, but we can just take it off, put a new one in. The bill acceptor matches perfectly because it's yellow as well. So it just goes with the machine. So we got a tiny bit of paint on the front display right there. It's kind of hard to see, but it's a little bit of paint. Look, I'm pretty sure there's going to be so many comments on painters out there that paint full time. <laughs> They're going to make fun of me for someone that has never painted before. But yeah, overall, that's the machine. Actually, let's open up the machine because uh, we also paint it a little bit inside. Can you open it? Um, it looks okay. Not too bad. It doesn't look the best. But look, we actually didn't finish painting just because it's about to rain in like 20 minutes. But I'm actually going to come back in like two days. Uh, that way I can finish painting the machine. I basically want to paint everything else that's black, blue. Like, for example, the outside rim. But yeah, again, part one is finished. The inside is clean. Everything is taken out. We couldn't clean that because it's like very rusty, but we're going to cover it with like material, right? Yeah, so we shouldn't have to worry about that much. Yeah. We should make it into an apartment and just rent it out on Airbnb. <laughs> In California, baby. 10,000 right here. I actually forgot to put the bill acceptor back. How are people going to put bills inside? They're not. All right, there you go. We can finally take bills. So we got the bill acceptor. We got the coin mix still inside. I was going to take it out to use it and put it in some of my machines, but I mean... I don't even know if it works, first of all. And second, you know, it still leaves a little bit of the vending machine feel in the machine, you know? So you're just gonna leave it in? Just so at least it has some vending machine organs, still, you know? <laughs> organs? <laughs> <laughs> and also in the front, like without the bill acceptor, it would look bad. Oh, it's, yeah. it's just leave be, a big hole? Yeah, a big hole. But yeah, that's pretty much it. You can go ahead and close the machine and get one last look. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope everyone did enjoy. If you guys did, drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And again, like I said, in part two, we're going to be giving away this machine to one of you guys. It's going to be very expensive to ship the machine. It's going to be my biggest giveaway so far, a whole vending machine. Can you imagine? Don't you need like permits or something like that? You basically find like a trailer company, tell them, you know, ship it and it's good. That's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> So of course, make sure you guys are subscribed and have the notifications turned on. That way you guys can know whenever I do upload part two. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out.